Cost Accounting Systems Cost accounting involves the measuring, recording, and reporting of product costs. A cost accounting system consists of accounts for the various manufacturing costs. These accounts are fully integrated into the general ledger of a company. An important feature of a cost accounting system is the use of a perpetual inventory system that provides immediate, up-to-date information on the cost of a product. There are two basic types of cost accounting systems. A. A job order system, where the company assigns costs to each job or to each batch of goods, and B. A process cost system, used when a company manufactures a large volume of similar products. Many companies suffer from poor cost accounting and sometimes make products they should not be selling. The managers of a diversified company thought they were making money, but a consulting firm found that the company had seriously underestimated costs. What type of costs do you think the company had been underestimating? Answer. It is most likely that the company failed to estimate and track overhead. Now let us look at the job order cost flows. The flow of costs, direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead, in job order cost accounting parallels the physical flow of the materials as they are converted into finished goods. There are two major steps in the flow of costs. A. Accumulating the manufacturing costs incurred. These costs are accumulated in three accounts. Raw materials inventory, factory labor, and manufacturing overhead, and b. Assigning the accumulated costs to work in process inventory and eventually to finished goods inventory and cost of goods sold. 3. Three entries are made to accumulate the manufacturing costs incurred. a. When the company receives the raw materials it has purchased, it debits the cost of the materials to raw materials inventory. Raw materials inventory is a control account. The subsidiary ledger consists of individual records for each item of raw materials. b. The cost of factory labor consists of gross earnings of factory workers. Companies debit labor costs to factory labor as they incur those costs. Factory labor is assigned to work in process and manufacturing overhead at the end of the period. c. A company may record overhead costs periodically through adjusting entries by debiting manufacturing overhead. Manufacturing overhead is a control account and the subsidiary ledger consists of individual accounts for each type of cost, factory utilities, factory repairs, etc. The manufacturing overhead account tracks all manufacturing costs incurred, the debit side and the manufacturing costs applied to WIP, the credit side. This was a quick overview of job costing,